okay so i'm going to do the baking the bake cookie corn so so what you have to do get a baking pan or um, a pan put water inside so i have water in this pan make sure the the baking pan that you're going to use is going to fit in it, in it so i'm going to put this in the oven i have put my oven on 400 degree so i'm going to put this in the oven so that the water should start getting hot Hey, Mary. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm holding my cookie gum. I can't hear you. I'm helping to make cookie gum. So, what are you doing right now? I am selecting spinach from. Selecting the good spinach from the yellow leaves and spinach is, and the ones that have like gone bad from the other ones. Hmm. That's nice. So you did all this? Not exactly. Not exactly by myself. So is it fun to help in the kitchen? I wouldn't say it's that fun, but it's okay. So do you like cookie corn? Uh, honestly, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I mean, as as a young kid, I did like it, and then I don't know what happened, but it just seems like half the time I, I enjoy it, and half the time sometimes I don't really enjoy it. But mostly, I don't. I wouldn't say I hate it or dislike it. It's somewhere in the middle. Not exactly my favorite. So we are using ten, tender spinach. Also, I have started with this like baby spinach here that we've had for a long time. Well, not exactly a long time, but it's like, I believe it's been in our like freezer. So. The fridge. Fridge. Excuse me, the fridge. It's been in our fridge for a while now, and so. Mom said we should use this first before we use the other ones. So, I think we prefer the tender spinach more compared to the baby spinach because when you put it inside the cocky corn, I like when the leaf doesn't look mushy, comes out like whole. So, I think the tender one is more preferable. So, already blended our corn right there. Well, like this. Uh... Okay, we're going to add, we're going to use the yellow corn meal. You can get this from any grocery store. So this help to bind the sweet corn together. So this is our preparation. So today we are going to bake part of the Okay, we're gonna do the cooking in the oven. So I'll show you how.
how to do that so for people who don't have time to be checking the pot all the time if the water is dry in the pot to add more water or you're so busy but you want to eat cookie corn so desperately you don't know how to tie it each time that you tie it it always make a mess in the pot so i think doing the big one will be good for you you will also come out good you cut it like you're cutting a piece of cake <laughs> so we love spinach plenty of spinach in the cookie corn because children love sweet corn so we're gonna add spinach and vegetable is so good for the kids so this is the only way they can eat their vegetables without pushing them aside so Thank you for watching. So if you like, subscribe, hit the notification button. See ya. I'll see I'll, I'll take you to the baking part when we come to that. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to take my square paper and cover it nice. That is it right there. Make sure you have a little bit of space in case the water gets dry. You can easily pour some hot water. Make sure you put the hot water. Don't put cold water. Okay? Put cold water. It has to take some time to get heat again. So just put hot water from the tap so that you can just continue to be cooking. All right. Thank you guys. Hope to see this come as comes out good. Okay. Here's the big cookie corn, the one that I put in the oven. See how it came out. So you can just like cut it. Come out like a piece of cake. that okay this is for my mom 